Hey parents, it's Coach McGannon. I'm going to discuss the U14 and U17 teams here. This is our 11th year running these spring teams. There are tryouts in March and then the teams will begin after spring break. We did a quick analysis recently on how our kids have done. You know, only 1% of the players, less than 1% actually, go on to play at the college level. A fraction, a really small fraction. Uh, and that's any level. That's uh, junior college, community college, Division three, Division two, II, Division one. less than 1%. Of the varsity players on our spring teams since 2011, over 9% have made it to the college level. I'm going to read something here at the end from a player who's in, playing in college right now, and that will explain why this is the case. So some of the benefits you should be aware of, there's no travel, there are no weekend practices, and we're done by early June. Some of you know about how I feel about that seventh wonder of the world just west of us, Lake Michigan. I'm not from Michigan, and I'm still astonished at the beauty of the state. It is an amazing place. So I'm not quite sure why all these teams and kids travel away from the lake in the summertime. I think kids should play basketball all summer long, and they should work on their games all summer long just not organized and not having to use a vehicle to go anywhere. Just work on your game, your, your uh, skill development, your strength training, and just get ready for November. Uh, there's no plays. We're not teaching anybody any plays. There's no zones, right? We're teaching kids how to play. There's a big difference. Now, in addition to the two practices a week that you're going to get, they can attend an unlimited number of skills clinics in the spring, any gymnasium. So we have gyms in Rockford, Forest Hills, uh, Fruitport, and Ferrysburg. And your kids can attend the skill sessions if they're part of the spring program at no cost. Now, each of the players in these older divisions gets a mental strength training assessment with me as part of the cost. This is a terrific uh, benefit. Kids will learn why they think the way they do how to build their confidence, how to handle failure, how to deal with mistakes. We'll identify commitment and attitude issues pretty quickly through this assessment. So it's very effective. We also manage our own tournaments. Okay, there'll be two tournaments. They'll be on one day tournaments in May. No pandemonium, well organized, excellent refs. In and out, right? You're, if you play two or three games and you'll be there for two or three hours, max. We don't believe in the all-day affairs. Now, here's the comment I wanted to read to you from this player who's playing in college right now. Hey, coach, I just wanted to let you know that we had several coaches come in and talk to us during our varsity team camp, and one of the coaches was from a local Division II school. He came to scout for an hour and then actually ran our practice for the second hour to show us what a college practice would look like. He went straight to the basics and the fundamentals of the game that he said are not emphasized enough anymore. We spent 10 minutes working on different kinds of passes and the correct footwork that goes with each pass. That line killed me. Many people don't realize that footwork is a critical ingredient to passing. If you're not using your inside pivot and there's pressure on the ball, you're not making that pass. So we work hard with the kids in terms of their foot skills in many areas. And of course, passing is one of those areas. He taught us the correct footwork that goes with each pass, ball handling, keeping our heads up, jumping to the ball and pivoting. He uses many of the same drills that basics does. The coach actually came up to me at the end and said I was doing it as close to perfectly as he had seen any player in recent years. Thank you so much for basics and for teaching me and showing me the right way to play with fundamental skill. So that's what these kids are going to get with us, right? There's no travel. There's no expensive tournaments. It's just primary skill development, really competitive, and we help your kids reach their potential. Mentally, too. That's big. And to end with this, the pandemic is obviously a big part of this, right? All routines have been broken. 
So we're in the process of getting back into the routines and we will help your kids with regard to their skill, their condition, and how they think. So we hope you have the opportunity to work with your children. Thanks a lot.